Network show this season. Round of applause. Well, we have a very special lineup for you today. I have with me the counselors from Anthony Lake and one of the campers. This is Stanley Yelnats. This is the warden, Mr. Sir, and Mr. Pendanski. Give them a warm welcome. Now, I've asked you in the studio audience to come up with some questions that you had for these people, and some of these questions are kind of intense, so I want to remind you that you are on television and to think before you speak. We're going to start with a question for Mr. Pendanski. Why are you so mean to Zero? Because he, does, he doesn't prove himself to me. Oh, that's really interesting. What did you do before you came to Camp Green Lake? Mean, like before I worked here? Yeah, before you worked here. I worked from McDonald's. <laughs> 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 that's shocking. I never would have suspected. <laughs> How do you feel, Mr. Sir, when you see these boys getting water from your truck? I feel like they should get less of the water. How they're getting more water. They're getting too much water. How do you feel about your job and how do you feel about these campers? I feel good about the job being <laughs> poor. I, I, I think the campers should work more hard. They should work harder. Warden, how, do you agree with that? Should the campers work harder? Yes, I was thinking about digging six feet a day, but I think that would be too much pain. And Morgan, we do have some campers in our audience. If you are a camper at Camp Green Lake, raise your hand. Did you hear that? She said six feet, but then she decided that she wasn't going to. She's generous. That's what she wants you to think. Excuse me, Morgan. Well, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Dinesky? You're acting very different today. Oh! Yes, that's, that's, that's what they deserve. You used to be mean to the campers. How do you feel about the campers? Does digging build character? Yes. Okay, Stanley, does digging build character? No, it just um, feels like your bones are broken and uh, it gets you more frustrated and more stressed. Is that how you felt after you dug your first hole? How did you feel? Um, I felt like I achieved a big thing, but when I knew I had more 18 more months in front of me, I was thirsty. Stanley, I heard from somebody in our studio audience that you have something to tell the warden. Wasn't found in X-rays. It was found in mine. These campers in our studio audience lied to you. You have been digging in the wrong spot. How do you feel? I thought X-ray was X-ray was being very positive, and I let him take a day off. But now I feel very betrayed, and I think I should let him take two X-ray, beware. <laughs> but the warden, are you looking? Or something. It's a top secret. Is the warden looking for something? Maybe a UFO? Sir, is the warden looking for something? Um, I'm not sure, but I think so. I recognize you used to serve all my McDonald's meals at Sunday. Okay, and this is the end of this episode. Thank you for joining us today on the Miss Gabbard.